so at least they are not looking like enemies they are looking like sisters so what i do next is i use my fluffy floor 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 fluffy one two three fuck it hello guys welcome back to my channel this is your first time on my channel my name is larry if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for always coming back today's video is one of the most requested video on my channel which is how i highlight and contour my face yes but because i didn't want the video to be long i just divided the place where i did my brows because i had the request again to do a video on how i outline my brows so on this particular video i'll be showing you guys how i outline my brows and you'll be seeing me with this same attire which will be a different video on how i highlight and contour so without wasting much of your time let's get the video rolling okay guys as i said in my intro i'll be showing you guys how i outline my brows basically how i do my brows yes it was requested by by one of my subscribers so today i'll be showing you guys how i do it if you kind of hear some background noise or wind in the background it's probably my fan blowing so do forgive me so going in with this pineapple cosmetics loose powder to set my brows this kind of help my brows to stay put throughout the day if you have dry skin you can try to skip this part but if you have oily skin you can go ahead with this one even if you have oily skin try to use a small amount don't overuse the powder so i love doing a talk through video but i'm not that good at it if my voice over are sometimes nothing to write home about so using my spoolie brush to kind of brush my hair back into place like this so with the help of a, bra a pencil which is a black i'm using a black pencil and that's the pencil i've been using for a while now so what i do is i'll go underneath my natural brow sorry if your brows are not even they are not similar like mine you can see this one is a little bit longer or it goes up like this and this one is very short so that's how my brows is if you have this kind of brow you can actually forget your natural brow shape and draw it if that makes sense so that's what i'm doing i'm not drawing it further away from my natural brows i'm drawing it a little bit closer to my brows so let's go ahead and do that so i'll try and deepen it out so that you guys can see clearly So doing same with the upper part of my brow, but when I get to the arc of it, I'll just bring the line downwards to meet the first line. Just like this. So now my brows are looking a little bit thicker. They are looking a little bit big, so we'll correct that when we are concealing. So this is how it looks so to fill it in i'll be using a different brow pencil which is i mean a different shade of a brow pencil if that makes sense i'm using the shade black a brown now it's the same pencil another pencil from cosmetic arts so i'll be using that to fill it in
so if you notice at the downwards part of my brow the downside of my brow i extend the pencil here but the upper part i did not we'll do that later on in the video so now let's just fill it in so now going back with the black pencil to kind of give it a lighter stroke i'll be adding it on top of the brown so that you will see the demarcation between the brown and the black if that makes sense Just like this, this kind of give you the illusion of a black, dark brown um, kind of vibe. So now to brush all the brown and the black shade together, I'll be using my spoolie brush to brush it like this. Like this. So with the product left on the spoolie, I'll extend it at the inner part of my brow. You see how natural that looks? That's how I do my brows. To conceal, I'm using the Flama Cosmetics Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Dark to conceal. I'm doing that with the, I'm cleaning my brows with a flat, I mean a very flat angle brush. So what I do is I go in um, a bit by bit and I'll be joining it as I go. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's do, let's go ahead and do it, and you guys should see what I mean by that. So while um, filming, while, while drawing your brows, if you overdo it, if it is big, no problem. You can always clean it up with your concealer. So that's what we are going to do now. You see how I do it? I go a little bit, then I'll drag the concealer downwards. If you have noticed, if you have been following me for a while now, you know I don't use a lot of concealer to conceal my brows. It's not like I'm afraid of the concealer or maybe, but I just don't feel like using a lot of concealer to conceal my brows. It actually depends on what I'm going for, but normally I don't use a lot of concealer to conceal my brow. So that's it and I'll be dragging it a little bit down. I'll be dragging the concealer down to my eyelid if that makes sense. I always say this if for if you mistakenly put a concealer in your brow you can always go back with your brow pencil to correct that out to conceal the upper part of my brow if you are a beginner as i always say in my video you can actually use a foundation to make blending easier but i'm using my concealer that same concealer i used earlier on i'm using that same concealer to conceal the upper part of my brow And one thing about me is I can't use the brush like this, so I prefer to use it like this. <laughs> I prefer to use it like this, so let's do that also. And what I normally do is when I have the product on my brush, I don't go with it at the beginning part. I normally start in the uh, in the middle part of my brow. So when I've used a little, pro uh, I've used the product and the I mean, the product left on the brush is not a lot. So that's sorry. That's when I'll be extending the brush. 
I mean the concealer to the um is it inner to the inner part of my brow if that makes sense i told you guys i'm all over the place but don't worry we'll, we'll do this so you see how i do it i just go a little then i'll stop and go back and take it again and go that if that makes sense that's how i do it So to kind of join this side, to clean it from here. And go back here also. Just like this. So if you think your brows are a little bit, if you think they are looking bigger, yes, they are looking a little bit bigger, you can always go kind of conceal it to make it look smaller. I'll go ahead and do this eye off camera and I'll be back. So at least they are not looking like enemies they are looking like sisters i'll use my fluffy brush this is one of my oldest brushes and i'll brush i'll brush the excess concealer into my skin I hope you and you learn one or two things from this video until we meet again. And please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I mean subscribe.